Hey guys, Army Guy 6902 here. I've owned my pivot head shades for a couple of weeks now, and I've also owned three of the SJ4000 action cameras for several months. And I'd like to do a quick review for all of you that are kind of on the fence and you can't decide which ones you want. First, I'm going to cover the pricing of each camera, then I'll show some short clips of both cameras. I'll be using 1080p 30 frames a second, and I'll also show some other clips of 720p 60 frames per second. The Pivot Head Durango Matte Black Shades cost around $200 US dollars, while the SJ4000 cameras actually cost around $100 US dollars. So now that we've got the pricing out of the way, why don't we go ahead and jump into some of the footage. Enjoy guys. Alright, yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll follow you. Huh? Special? Uh, 95. If you've got it. You have 95? Oh, yes, sir. Other side. How much, sir? Full tank? Uh, full tank, please. Full tank, 95, sir. 00 stage. Alright, that'll work. Alright guys, we're about to head up the mountain and I'll be showing some footage in 720p, I believe 60 frames a second on both cameras. Where are we heading here? Up that way? Alright, let's go do it. Okay guys, so after seeing the video footage, I'm sure you can tell that the pivot heads seem to have a much better video quality. Something about the SJ4000s just seems like the frame rate maybe isn't what's advertised. As the video seems to accelerate, and after a few minutes of side-by-side -side comparison, you can see that there's four to five, sometimes 10 seconds of delay between the pivot heads and the GoPro. If it comes down to cost and you don't need a camera immediately, I would say save up and get the pivot heads and then save up for an actual GoPro. If you're running on a really tight budget, the SJ4000 is not a bad option. So you could go for that. It just depends on what you're looking for and uh, what your needs are at the moment. So hope you guys enjoyed this review. Uh, please excuse the editing. I'm still getting good at that. And if any of you could comment with a link 
to some uh, video editing tutorials. I would really appreciate it. And if you'll stay tuned, I'll have some footage after this to show what I'm going to be doing in my next video. So, take care, guys. I'm extending it a little bit to show you a preview of what I'm going to do in my next video. Uh, there's a big zip line set up over here. So really nice up here. Yeah, much cooler. Huh? Oh, I know. It's beautiful when you get up on the mountain. Hell of a bridge. Seen Robert's race before? Uh, in Thailand, yeah. Where they tear off the strips and. No shit. That'd be really cool to see. Ah, rubber trees. Yeah, they did the same thing in Thailand. Definitely smells like a used Tom Dom. Wow. That's what it is. It's the latex. Yeah. Really nice. That's how they call the monkeys in. Mike! Well, let's go check them out. Hey guys, I went ahead and started up the video because the view up here is insane. Really incredible. When you get up here with the clouds, it's almost majestic looking, I would say. I'm not sure exactly where we're heading, but uh, I mean, yeah, where the hell he went. Ah, he's up there. Really nice up here. I had to stop as soon as we topped the hill. It just looks insane up there. Imagine if you could do a zip line from there all the way down. Really? Not all the way down. Wow. Okay. I'm gonna show when the next group comes down here and how these guys stop them using this rope and a big piece of rubber on the zip line. You get, um, there's, a, there's a nice long walk that takes you up a mountain and that's the first zip line that goes from there across. You can't see the cable but the cable overlaps this cable. And it goes across? Yeah. Wow. Yeah I've got to do this. You know how much it is? I think it's 500. Yeah that's not how bad. How much? 400 sir, for, per head. 400 per head for yes, zip line? Sir. Yes sir. Ah, that's not bad. Well, I'm going to cut this video and I'll jump back as soon as we catch somebody else coming in. Good view from up there, eh? Because you go to the top of this township and all the people in their backyards are waving at you and all this is fucking, it's classical. Outstanding. Well, yeah, let's go ahead and check it out. We can come back here in a moment. All right, guys, so going up the side of this mountain and I can, I can tell you I am very much out of shape because this is already killing me. But we're going to follow... I don't know how clear you can see this in the video. We've got a zip line right up here. It goes off through the trees, so we're gonna attempt to make it up there and kind of see what the view looks like. Jesus. I definitely gotta start working out again. Like I said, in the next video, you'll uh, get to see what the actual zip line ride looks like. Wow, guys, check out that view. With any luck, when I come back here, I'll come on a clear day. Give you a really good shot of the mountains. All right, guys, so we made it up to pre-landing platform and ran into a couple of ladies here. Took a few photos. And uh, like I said, you can see the view here is outstanding. 
so very nice. Yes, we've made it to the top. These ladies here are getting ready to go down on the zip line. We'll go ahead and see y'all take off. Wow. Luckily, much easier going down than it was going up at the base here. If you can hear this, you can hear the guys coming in on this line. And they are way out there. I can barely see them, but you can hear them on the end of this line. So these guys here are going to use these two anchors. Or, uh, hitch whatever the hell they are and the ropes and they're manually going to stop these guys so that they don't fly all the way through and hit the stop and break their necks on this cable at the end so let's go down and see if we can get some good footage of these guys wow that's going to be insane <laughs> Guys, I'm already ready to shit my pants and I'm not even on this thing. <laughs>